So I'm currently working on how I'm trying to handle inputs for my uh, open source game engine and game as a whole, right? Uh, so again, this is Art Club, well, but you know what? Now we uh, deal with solely just moving characters around. So the entire idea is that down at this sort of bottom left corner for people who are using mobile, they'll see a sort of like, again, sort of wasp and then also some like extra inputs there if they need to. But if you're just using gamepad, that's i.e. keyboard or just a controller, you'll be fine. I'm doing my best to actually merge these two systems though. So I'm using a brand new input manager that I've been working on. And this can pull from either the pointer system, uh, which is what uh, mouse, sorry, what mouse and uh, touch primarily use, or the gamepad, which is just, for instance, in my case, an Xbox controller. Um, so what I've been doing there is I've been doing a lot of extra stuff for visually for mobile. Um, a quick sort of check to see like, hey, we're we using mobile, cool, if not cool. Uh, and then also an input action system um, to sort of generalize a lot of these inputs. So the state stuff, cool, right. Uh, when it came to mobile implementation, uh, there's some rendering stuff that I'll show in like the next 10 seconds being now. Yeah, look at it move, look at it go, it's awesome, right? Okay, back to here. <laughs> Uh, the like, way to do that is essentially if the pointer, uh, so essentially where the sort of finger is, uh, if that sort of area intersects with where I'm describing the actual sort of mouse, not the mouse, the actual sort of um, like finger to be, uh, if we're like actively pressing, uh, then we deal with this stuff. If we're like just release and like just trying to release, basically a ton of logic uh, to sort of generalize this input state system. The issue came with actually sort of doing everything for the gamepad. So again, I came with the, into this sort of update mobile system with the mindset of, okay, I'm going to need to toss in a reference to the pointer, but I won't actually need to use the pointer. I'll need to use an element from the gamepad. So this would be like a very specific button. And that took me down the rabbit hole five to 10 minutes later. Hey, the enum is right here. Great. So I'm like, okay, let me go back here. How do I actually import that? And that's where I'm really having trouble with attempting to import this like random um, enum. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work. And this is where I'm going to give my piece of advice for today's episode being make sure you don't overthink it. Because fun facts, enums are also numbers. So, so the solution to all this is just saying in the input manager, uh, when we're checking other, that's why I call this gamepad function, just convert the enum that's stored within gamepad, just convert that to an i32 or u32. It doesn't matter, really. You can use either. Um, but then when you go down here, just check if it's two or zero. Don't overthink it and look forward to more open source work. Huzzah!